Yo, what up everybody? It's Slummy here coming at you with my weekly Destiny 2 video. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how to get to the power level 600 fast with the Forsaken DLC. Now, as a disclaimer, the Forsaken DLC is not dropped, but I'm assuming that these steps will be 100% correct in getting past at least the soft cap of, I'm assuming it's going to be around 540-ish, because I know with the Mars DLC, I believe the soft power cap was at 340. So 600 might, you know, from the top power level, but again, this is just recommendations. If you want to get the DLC and jump right into the campaign, do so. Um, but again, if you want to just focus on your leveling and getting your power level up so you could do the raid, follow these steps and you should be good to go. All right, the first thing I recommend doing is when you sign on to the Forsaken update, go right to the tower, go to the vendors. I believe Bungie switched around the bounty system a little bit. So go to the vendors to see how the bounties are going to work. If you have any unclaimed bounties, keep them in the vault for right now. Um, and I'm going to show you how to get the XP. So the first thing you want to focus on is leveling from your level cap 30 to level 50, which is the new level cap. Um, again, once you hit level 50, that's when the power level is really going to come into play. So you want to get to level 50 as soon as possible. So what I recommend is going to Eververse, picking up some fire team medallions. And then go to a planet that you have a ghost with extra uh, XP gains. Um, I know there is exotic ghosts that have like XP gains across the board. But if you don't have that and you have a specific planet, go to that specific planet. Because what you're going to start doing is farming heroic public events. So Destiny 2, to level up a character, it was approximately three heroic public events to get you to the next level. So assuming the XP is kind of the same from 30 to 50 it's going to be about three public events to get you leveled up so make sure you're popping fire team medallions if you're in a fire team make sure you have that ghost equip for the planet that you're on for the extra xp gains and start doing these heroic public events now if you know by some chance the heroic public event areas are dead because everyone's playing forsaken you could do the regular public events but you will not get as much xp but Go do the heroic public events. Um, this should, like I said, every three should get you a level up. So it shouldn't take too long to hit that max level. I recommend going to Nessus or the EDZ because those public events are pretty much on a almost continuous cycle. All right. So while you're out in the world doing the heroic public events, while you're waiting for the heroic public event to start up, I would highly suggest going to grab a patrol mission, preferably the patrol missions that involve you killing enemies and collecting data. These are marked with the triangle on your map when you hit the selector, you pull out your ghost. Um, so make sure you pick up these bounties. Also, there's a good chance that when you get those bounties, the required enemies to kill to collect the data might also involve the heroic public event. So this way you're constantly gaining XP either by waiting for the heroic public event or by doing the heroic public event. Plus you have your ghost activated, plus you're getting XP for the bounty, or I'm sorry, the patrol mission. Plus, if the bounty system involves anything of killing enemies on the planet. So make sure you check the vendors for those planets as well. Because like I said, Bungie has hinted that they're changing the bounties. And I think each planet might actually have bounties to do. Whoa, that was a mouthful. But anyways, yeah. So now you got your ghost activated. You got your fire team medallion activated. You're getting XP from the heroic public events. And you're getting XP by the patrol mission while doing the heroic public events. So that's a lot of XP. So you're well on your way to 50 really quick. Boom. All right, so after we do the heroic public events and the bounties and the patrols to get you to level 50, now you want to focus on your power level. So by still doing the heroic public events, you want to do those until you hit your soft power cap, which I'm assuming is probably going to be around 540, 545-ish. You'll know when you hit the soft power cap because the blue drops will actually stop dropping at a higher power level. They'll just stay consistent. So they'll always drop at like a 540 or a 545. Once that happens, now you want to jump into the campaign. Because if there's anything Bungie is notorious for doing with their campaigns is awarding you powerful gear for completing it. So this should increase your power level past the soft cap. Also, they always throw in an exotic quest at the end. Um, so when you do the exotic quest, you want to make sure when it's completed that your exotic weapon or gear, whatever it is, is at a real high, po a higher power level. So you can actually use the gun out into the world or want to use it without infusing it. At the same time, if you have any bounty stored away, 
make sure with your fire team medallion pop you cash those out to gain additional xp now you can do this from level 30 to 50 or you could do it after the fact because i believe they're still going to have it with the engrams so you could get additional xp towards that get some bright dust and maybe get some new exotic forsaken ghost or you know forsaken ship etc but make sure you only cash the bounties out that you have stored away when your medallions are popped also once you hit the soft power level cap now you want to start doing the weekly milestones which i believe are actually changing twice a week because those power rewards should drop at equal to or greater than your character's current level also you want to pop your three of coins because exotics should also drop equal to or greater power level um and i'm, I'm assuming the clan stuff is going to do the same thing so again heroic public events patrols and if there's planet bounties from level 30 to 50 from level 50 to the soft cat power level which is probably going to be around 540 ish once you hit the 540 mark you want to start jumping into the campaign to get the power rewards at the end of the campaign also the exotic quest once you get past the soft cap then i recommend doing um the exotic three of coins but again make sure once you complete the campaign and you get past that soft cap a little bit then you start doing the weekly milestones to get that power gear um and that will get you well on your way to raid ready which i'm assuming is not going to be 600 usually the raids are what like 20 power level lower um or higher than the max power level you can get out into the world so i'm going to assume you could get up to 580 and then the raid will get you the 580 to 600 um, but again forsaken has not dropped yet so we shall see and i'm sure uh, according to bungie they had a bunch of different events um that we can do i believe solo and group so yeah but this should get you raid ready in a week and a half if you want to do it this way again um if you're excited for the forsaken and you want to just jump right into the campaign go for it doing heroic public events it, the world's gonna be slow because everyone's going to want to do the Forsaken DLC. But again, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button because it does help me out a lot. Make sure you share with your friends if they are just going to go for the power grind uh, to get raid ready. And also make sure to subscribe because it does help me out a lot. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Good luck with Forsaken. Um, and everybody have a great day.